All right, hello everybody. Welcome to a, another Helix video from uh, your pal Josh Hollis. <laughs> um, I did one. I just did a video on the Helix versus the Drop, and then I want to do a Helix versus the Mimic. So you can hear the difference. Um, I have four patches set up. One is going to be a crunch with the Mimic. One is going to be crunch using the double take um, in the Helix, which I think um, it sounds pretty good. But there's something there's something weird about it. It almost phases, like you'll hear it come out on the right-hand side. That's the way I have this set up is I'm going right into a mixing board and then right into the video camera. So you can really hear the, the, the two sides very well. And I think you'll hear a difference when I turn it. I'll turn the Mimic off as well so you can hear kind of a dry sound. Um, I have the Mimic running through loop number three. Um, you can see my settings on the double take. I like the slop it like halfway, and um, I'm using what I got. I don't know if the stereo monitor makes a difference, but this is what I thought sounded most like the Mimic, the way I have it going right here. And, and I have the slop, on, sloppiness, I think it's on the Mimic, is halfway up as well. I usually boost the Mimic, like plus 2 dB in the return um, of that effects loop, um, but I wanted to hear, you know, have a little kind of a straightforward comparison. So listen to how this goes. <laughs> the mimic off. I think you can tell it's a little bit louder on the left hand side, which is why I, uh, like I said, which is why I kind of boost that a little bit. Now, the crunch, or the DT, the double take. So if you hear a little bit there, like it comes in on the right-hand side and then it goes away. It almost feels to me like it's a, like it's gated or something weird. I, I just don't get it. Um, that's why I put the sensitivity down because I thought that was kind of messing with it, but it doesn't matter where I set the sensitivity. <laughs> So to me, they both sound really good. I, I just like the Mimic a little bit better. Um, you know, I I want to try it um, once I get my monitor set up at a live show, kind of see if I can hear a big difference because headphones and with speakers, it makes a huge difference, especially if I go out front because in front of me, I'm going to have the, the speaker spread out a little bit, but there's still like a combination of those two, of those two when you walk out in the audience and the those big speakers in, in front. We have um, the QSC K12s um, and, and, and the bottoms. We have two, um, you know, what are they, like 3,000 watt uh, base bottoms or whatever. They're huge, they weigh a ton. But uh, when you get out front in front of those, you really hear more stereo separation. And I just wanna hear um, what it sounds like in that context. But anyway, I'll play a little bit more um, so you can hear it. And I'm also gonna try some clean sounds. Thank you. 
All right, well, I hope you guys thought that was a fair comparison. Um, again, I kind of want to hear what that double take sounds like in a real environment with speakers, but um, in my headphones, I definitely think the Mimic sounds better. Um, just my personal taste I and mean, why I keep the Mimic on my board. Same thing with the drop. Um, I think I'm going to do one more comparison where I'm going to actually put the Eventide H9 digital delay up against the digital delay in the Helix. And this one, I think I'm going to be surprised because I don't think I'm going to hear much of a difference. Um, but anyway, I'll have that one up soon as well. All right, thank you guys for uh, watching and you know, send me any questions if you have them.